Warning. Some or all of the information given in this podcast may be incorrect. If you have any questions or complaints, please contact Francis Ellis. All right, welcome to episode 97 of The Bracket. No Tommy Smokes today as he is out doing Survivor. We do have Clemmer, Bob Fox, the returning champ, and Marty Mush. Today, we are debating incorrect things that we were taught as kids. And I think the way we're going to grade this is voted on a combination of how incorrect they are and how long you just accepted them as fact. So just like that's, that's, that's the criteria you're going to vote on. The more- so I didn't have time to submit anything, uh, but right now I'd like to submit. I, I didn't know the pussy was at the bottom. I thought you went straight in. For the longest, for the yeah, longest like, uh, time, the I thought you went straight yeah, into yeah. the pussy like it's a hanger. I thought all not doggy like a hanger, style abortion, sex, like a plane hanger. Excuse me, I what? thought I thought all doggy style sex was anal. Wow, oh, I thought any time you no, I didn't you, you I were coming from early. behind. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it is it yet? It isn't. Is <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I've been nutting in there so long. I just thought it was the butt the whole time. We got uh before we get into our first matchup, let's hear from our first sponsor of the day, Z Biotics. That's one of Nick's favorites, is it not? I love it, dude, because like, you know I booze hard, mm-hmm. but I also recover hard. With Z Biotics. We all have busy lives these <laughs> days and we can't afford to waste a day stuck on the couch because of a few drinks the night before. Z Biotics is the answer that we've all been looking for. Z Biotics Pre Alcohol Prebiotic is the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. Uh, it is invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. Here's how it works. When you drink, Alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. It's this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Z-Biotics creates an enzyme to break this byproduct down. It's designed to kind of work like your liver, but in your gut where you need it the most. Just remember to drink Z-Biotics before drinking alcohol. Drink responsibly and get a good night's sleep to feel your best tomorrow. We do, yeah, again, Nick, Nick's done Z-Biotics. I did Z-Biotics uh, recently out in Vegas. It was awesome. It works amazing. We really like Z-Biotics here. Uh, this Halloween, pair your candy and cocktails with Z-Biotics to avoid a spooky next morning. I didn't write that ad copy. You guys got to work Ooh. on that one. How many O's are in spooky? No, no extra O's, all extra Y's. So it was just spooky. You added the flair. No, there's Y's. A lot of extra Y's in the end of uh, it. Spooky. it. Otherwise, it would have been spooky. This is spooky. That's yeah. like they're flirting with you. Yeah, a little bit. Go to zbiotics.com slash LCB to get 15% off your first order when you use LCB at checkout. You can also sign up for a subscription using our code so that you can stay prepared no matter what the time or occasion. Zbiotics is backed with a 100% money back guarantee. So if you're unsatisfied for any reason, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. Thank you to Zbiotics. Do you mind if I vent for a second? Well, go ahead and vent. I have a problem at home. I have an Asian family keep coming into my house. Oh, the, again? So you come it's to me. And Jack is so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm yeah. technically, since I just got engaged, I'm coming into the Asian family. Uh, so yeah, yeah you've been. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's happened more than once. And yeah. So first time, Rhea was home just by herself, and all of a sudden this this Asian man and his dog walked into my apartment not like it was nothing and then last week <laughs> I'm just sitting on the couch in my underwear no one home and the whole ass family walks in and I'm like oh no no and they're like, oh, like what was that gonna do anyway but like I, twice same family? same family what's their reaction nothing wait same oh, family same family I'm gonna say you should just. Lock oh, that's your we- door. third time is weapons. The fact that I don't. <laughs> the, how do you I mess don't. up the same? Like I guess maybe they're a floor below. I don't get how you can mess y- it up. Yeah, it has to be. Why isn't your door locked? That's that's the first. Issue. That's the next step. Yeah, yeah. lock your door. The doors. Still, they should know not where their apartment is. Yeah, but lock your door too. The whole family was in my living room. <laughs> and can we? Can, also can I ask you how Asian, like non-English speaking? Like, like, was there a <laughs> yeah. language? Was there a language barrier there while you're trying no to ask him? Spoken with each other. Oh, just like, was the, is the speech. number not in? Is it in English? Like, is it like? Uh, is it Chinese? No. <laughs> is it in Chinese? <laughs> Your part, his apartment number is in Chinese. Character. Yeah, it's the only one on the floor. <laughs> but how far do they make it in? Because I feel like I would Pretty if far. I went into the wrong yeah, apartment, it'd be like recognize. going into a bathroom when someone's in but there. It'd be the, like, whoa, sorry, instant, yeah, Reason immediate. The dog was like making itself at home. <laughs> it was like it was in it was in the apartment. And then they like the whole family was locked in. I was like it was insane. You gotta lock your door, dude. Yeah, that's definitely the problem. But it's their fault. So a couple of weeks ago, I got off the wrong floor and I went to where my building is in my room, my apartment is, and there was a doormat there. And I'm like, oh, did my wife buy this doormat? This doormat sucks. I don't I don't like this at all. And my key wouldn't go in. I kept trying to get in. I'm like, what's going? And then I realized it took me like a good like 40 seconds to realize I'm not even on the right floor. 
Mm, so I can't make fun of this family too much. That would have been amazing. You just got like shot. I know. I'm thinking like, what am I? Yeah, e- yeah, you could get shot like that. I'm mocking the doormat, trying to force myself into this apartment. Especially yeah. Seen a guy like you go. Oh my why god. Me? Why is why is what would that had? I would think I'm in a nightmare. You know what I mean? <laughs> like sleep paralysis. Demon just walked into my apartment. You try to think you're in like a. No, <laughs> waking people will be very happy to see me. I think. I <laughs> probably not in that situation. No, no, that's true. Uh, okay, our first matchup of the day. We have the number five seed, and this is one I still not sure. Like even reading the facts on it, I think it's it should be right that uh, milk helps your bones. Milk helping your that's bones. That's true. It's not true. It does not. S- what? It's a calcium. Series, a series of studies have found no evidence that cow's milk helps improve bone health. It has shown that it has a negative effect on your overall health, including on your bones. The milk myth was pushed by the dairy industry, which lobbies in the USDA, and the USDA chief took a big, cushy, high-paying job as the CEO of the U.S. Dairy Export Council. So, actually, milk is bad for your bones. It's this rock me sense. to my core. Yeah, it's starting to make sense to me. Yeah. I, uh, I drank a gallon of milk a day in high school. Just what? To, I was trying to put on weight. This was my best course of action my best method i don't like peanut butter so i was trying to put that in protein shakes it just didn't work out and now i have arthritis so what? i think that might be true <laughs> you have arthritis arthritis yeah and then in, in the spine too in the spine oh my god yeah, tw- 25 Dude. years old arthritis oh all up god. and down the body i think it might be the milk now yeah that's very possible yeah, that's on you. we were all taught that no that, like you need to drink yeah. milk to have oh, strong yeah. bones to, yeah to grow too yeah, to yeah grow. like instead of just protein that's going up against the number 12 seed, carrots helping your vision. Carrots oh. do not help your vision. They do not help you have any vitamin A whatsoever unless you are already deficient in vitamin A. So unless you're not getting any vitamin A in your diet whatsoever, it does not help you create a vitamin A and help your vision. So that's something- Abbott and Costello would have had a field day with the Hutu, by the way. Who <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> first? <laughs> oh, if only they were here for the who too. <laughs> Holy shit! Tutsi or not Tutsi? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, oh my god, that would have went on forever. Uh, <laughs> you, so this is something I know I was taught, but I was talking. I think you, Marty, and you said that you didn't hear about the carrots thing, or I've was never heard about the carrots. Thing. You never heard that? No, never. Yeah. I never. I ne- well, that doesn't make so, any sense. There's three of us here that have glasses. Did you try to eat more carrots? Oh yeah. The, I don't like carrots. I had gray vision until I turned like 35, 36. Mm. So gray I, vision? Great, great. Fantastic. <laughs> I thought you really. were a dog. <laughs> no, no. I had, I had perfect vision until in my th- late 30s. So I, I never really bought into the carrot thing. I'm like, my eyes see fine. I don't like carrots, but I'm like, I could always use that excuse. Yeah. Nick, did you go heavy on? Or you just didn't like them? I've had glasses since first grade. Mm. Um, yeah, I'd never, I'd never liked glasses. I mean, uh, <laughs> I don't like glasses. I never liked carrots. Why? But my favorite movie, shoot him up with Clive Owen. He eats a carrot before he shoots to see better. It's so yeah. sick. Very Why cool. was four eyes such like a harsh, like, insult? It's a good question. It's really not bad. I mean, people didn't call each other cunts back then. They, you know, mm-hmm. they were, yeah, like the, the the level of like <laughs> I don't know how that had anything to do because with like four that eyes. back yeah. in the day, four eyes. I was like, oh shit, he just said that. You know, like where it's one of the first. There's insults. a lot of insults between four eyes and cunt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like there's, there's a lot of years between 1938. Four eyes might be the most tame insult. But I bet yeah. 1936 it wasn't. I was like, oh shit, he just called him a four eyes. Did you ever? Did any of you glasses people get called four eyes? Oh yeah. Well, I guess yeah, oh, yeah. Old to be definitely. Old. I remember getting hey, called four eyes by like a, a clown, at, at the dunk clown. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. tough. That's the. He's like, come on, four eyes. But I dunked him. Oh, so it was all good in the end. He said, come on, four eyes. He's like, come on, four eyes. <laughs> Nick, do you got it too? Like oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that. I called Yeah, because growing up, there was only like one recently. or two kids in your class with glasses. That's true. Yeah. Unless, yeah. Did you ever have anyone in your classes that were had huge glasses, like super mega thick? Ooh. We had one. Oh, God, was, Maybe Miranda Johnson. Miranda. Ours name is Gee Stewart, and he had it rough. Yeah, Gee. R- yeah, Gee. Like G-U-I. He, oh, his guy. Like the butter. Yeah, like that's how he wanted to pronounce. He wanted a Gee and not Guy Stewart, and he just. Had that's how Gee LaDouche it. spells it in. Uh, exactly. In MXC. Yeah. Exactly. I uh, just love that. Uh, so milk doesn't help your bones versus carrots not helping your vision. Let's start with you, KB. Which one do you think uh, was the worst? lie that was believed the longest or Dude, the milk by far we were preached that by not just our parents and adults but health teachers teachers <laughs> 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 the list goes on and on yeah, so how was milk treated in the wrestling circles i'm assuming that's a big no-no um yeah no we just assumed like milk was synonymous with growth 
So you did you did go heavy on milk? No, we had to we had to lose weight. KB, yeah. how many times did you say like this is just not working? <laughs> That's the thing. I thought it was because I wasn't drinking milk. I thought that oh. was the reason because I hated the taste. I had an aversion to it. Uh, an intolerance, some might say. Uh, Nick, I still don't believe the milk one. You think milk does make your bones stronger? Yeah, I do. Um, so I'm going with that one because that is just uh, I, I. Damn, I. I feel like I've been in a cult. I, I, we were all brainwashed. I think Milk's motto was like milk it builds strong bones, wasn't yeah. that? Like the does Got a Milk body, Cole campaign. Does a body like, good, right? Athlete. Exactly. Yeah, Got Milk. Ever all the athletes were drinking. But it has to have some health. What is the health benefits of milk? It gives you calories, I guess. And it's, it's, isn't there some protein in it? Yeah, casein protein, I guess. In small amount. Not a lot. Yeah, it can't be. Fuck. Uh, Clemmer- yeah, that this one's insane. Yeah, the milk thing was uh, always just kind of like a propaganda that was shoved down our throats. Like, milk, it does a body good. That was like a big slogan for a while. Um, I don't like milk. I can't have milk. If I do, I'll have crazy diarrhea. So I don't. I never drank a lot of milk, so I'd always get that. Your bones are going to be weak. Meanwhile, I've never broken a bone in my life. I that am- feels impossible. But why? Everyone thinks skinny people like will break our bones. Fat people break, your, break their bones. Skinny people don't. I can't have any. You don't have enough evidence to dis- dispute him at all. I never broke a bone. But dude, even the first yeah, time like I fat, it's because fat people were like have like all the fat around them, and their, their bones are more likely to break. Never broken one either. I've never mm. broken one. Either. Their bones I've are rotting. My arm. Uh, first thing I looked up, this this says improves your bone and teeth health. <laughs> and I yeah. guess it's like I, I feel that's like probably a propaganda. Stuff. Yeah, it might be. It's there's so it says that aids your di- digestive health, helps you relax. That see, that's a lie. That, I that's guess, just pseudo. But people do say that they have like. That's a glass of milk, milk at bed. Right? Placebo. Yeah. It has to be placebo. There's no like that 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 can't benefits your emotional and mental health. Not a How the fuck, fuck is the milk gonna make me sane? Yeah. It makes no sense. Milk has good lobbyists. The next time someone goes on a mental health break from Barstool, let's just all just send a milk. Send a milk. Yeah. <laughs> Ounce of milk. Good luck. Uh, so you're going with milk clemmer? <laughs> yeah. What That's are you guys cool. looking at on your phones out there? I'm looking at milk shit. Milk shit. <laughs> milk shit. <laughs> Lots of milk shit. Yeah. Be funny uh, if they said new, new yeah, review. Yeah, the internet says it's. Sh- I, don't, I don't know. This. I don't know if I believe this or not. Um, I think I'm gonna go with the milk one. Yeah, I think we all know the word osteoporosis because of milk. Mm-hmm. Uh, we never knew about that, and everyone all of a sudden had this fun fact. Oh, it can help prevent osteoporosis. Mm-hmm. That's what we would say. But that was only only women can get osteoporosis, right? Is that true? That wasn't said. No, I think you're thinking of sickle cell anemia and black people. Mm. That's oh, right. Okay. That's right. Classic Nikki confusion. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Bobby Ingram has a son with sickle cell. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what Bobby Ingram is. Who's Bobby Ingram? He's a Seahawk. Oh, no. okay. Uh, sickle cell. Where you, where you, Bobby Wagner? Where you put Ingram, the... He was a receiver oh. like a decade ago. Oh. <laughs> okay. Bush? Glad you remember his son. <laughs> Doesn't like I, he's memorizing the NFC West. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, milk. I used to envision my bones like becoming the Hulk when I had milk. So I, I, I still uh, kind of with them. I don't really truly believe it. But like, why else would? I don't think I would have ever drank milk if I didn't. If I knew it wasn't true. It's good with cereal. I don't. You know, I don't drink. I have it. In, I have it in a cup. What do you mean? I have dry cereal in a cup. Oh, oh okay. I've been having cereal with water. I call what? that raw it's cereal. It's not bad. It's not bad. What? Uh, a bowl what? of yeah. water what? and cereal? It's not bad. I, it, it's it is. disgusting. Uh, to it's sound. Not <laughs> it sounds really gross. Why? <laughs> I had cereal that, and we had no milk, and I was like, fuck it. I just want some cereal. So I did water instead, and it really wasn't that bad. It was like. Dude, just, the water at the end is just backwash. Yeah. Just don't drink the water. <laughs> gross. It's, I'll it's, just eat cereal dry. I, mean, it's, it's I would rather eat. Uh, I want it. I like it. Not as a little bit less crunchy. I, yeah. I think, think cereal mixing is disgusting. Oh, when my mom, when we were getting close to the bottom of the bag in the house, my mama mixed like Fruit Loops with fucking Rice that's, Krispies. That's disgusting. No, you I need to do that. With that. You need complimentary cereals. I used to mix all the time. Never. Like tricks and Fruit Loops. You need your you need your vegetable base. That would be your uh, Rice Krispies or your Crispix mm. or maybe okay. you know cornflakes, something like that. I'm going to need you to start talking in those giant generic bag terms for me, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, after corn, and then after that, you might put your you know your your meat sort of layer, which I would say might be let's say like a, a peanut butter. Right, you know, mm. cu- puffs or uh, or maybe uh, you know something like that, and then you do a topping, like a dessert on top, topping of, you know, a nice three cereals. That's too much. Or a rice crispy. Well, I like oh. crackling oat bran on top. 
or the oh. Honey Nut O's, I think they were called. Honey O's? I think the only cereal we had were called Frosted Mini Spooners, which were the generic of <laughs> Frosted Mini Wheats. Yeah. What? You know, Wheats, fiber. Spooners. Fiber. Yeah. Do you remember the Reese's Puffs wrap? Yes. I have it ingrained in my head, and I don't know why. Well, they just said Reese's Puffs Reese's over Puffs, and over Reese's again. Reese's Puffs, yeah. And that was it. Eat them up, eat them up. Is that it? Rice eat Krispie them up, treats. Up. They went to, like, the diner and... Right? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Yeah. Uh, two, early 2000s, late 90s commercials, the foods always transported kids to different worlds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, or turned their heads into big pieces of fruit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It used to mean something for athletes to be on those suckers. Now it's like no one cares if you're on a cereal box. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Robbie? Uh, milk. This is an easy one. I feel like the carrot one, like, I always thought maybe that's a myth. The milk one, I for sure mm-hmm. always thought was true. Mm hmm. Uh, So Milk is going to move on in a clean sweep. Now we have the number four seed versus the 13 seed. The four seed, sugar making kids hyper. Not true. Mm. Get the fuck. Sugar does not not make kids hyper. Hang on a second. Are we sure about (laughs) these? This is all. Yeah, what? This all proof. The food ones specifically are backed by now. What? More recent. Every parent thing. says you can't give a kid sugar at night. No. Those kids like go, freak out. See- Popularized by an allergist recommended diet and flawed study in the 70s, the connection between hyperactivity and sugar was debunked by a series of studies published in the Journal of American Medical Association in 1995. So since 1995, we have proof through, med- through medicine that it does not make kids hyper. Some of my boys were feral after a pixie <laughs> stick, dude. <laughs> yeah. Pixie sticks were wild. Yeah. That I could really still go for the cocaine or candies every now and then. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, so, yeah you would. Th- now that you think, of, when I think about it, it's like sugar should probably have the opposite effect. Yeah, like if I like make you feel crappier. Because now, if I yeah. sugar, I don't feel hyper at all. I just feel like shit. I get I but get extra sugar energy coffee, and then I crash. You know? yeah, I just it's, I, I don't get. That. Yeah. I guess you don't. I guess that's a lie. Mm. So we have after, and that's going up against the number thirteen seat. Uh, bats are not blind. Bats, in fact, see three oh. times better than human beings. Fucking do. hate this show. You're what? ruining my This is brain. destroying everything. Also, just what? None of, Wait, I didn't know. I didn't think through. bats were blind. According, I thought they were so blind as a bat. I knew that. Blind yeah. 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 I'm, the, I'm with I'm with KB on that one. According to the I never I never truly thought about it. I thought they were sonar boys. Exactly. Everyone thinks that's not the case. Who gave you all these disproofs? Kyrie Irving. <laughs> 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 According to the. Director, uh, what is it? The director for the organization of bat conservation. Bats can see three times better than human beings. What? That's what a, site is this from? I just thought the organization of bat conservation. Kyrie the Irving. Director. That's the website. Dot com. So I don't know if it's the web. It's the organization that gave the information. Do they sleep upside down still? Uh, yes. Oh, definitely. Oh, God, definitely. Oh yeah, you're right. We had a bat in our house in New Hampshire. They see. Th- so I always knew the phrase dude. blindest oh, bat. Fly Oh, and around. Oh. I always assumed, and like I think a lot of you do, that they it's only so could see yeah. by echolocation, which is like they just send out the waves and then you, yeah. they move through sonar and that's it. Not the case. The so, Pokemon Zubat and Golbat don't even have fucking eyeballs, exactly, dude. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So sugar huh. not making kids hyper versus the fact that bats are not only not blind, but they see three times better than humans. Uh, start with you, Bob Fox. That's real tough. Two things that I for sure thought were true. I might go bats because... Especially growing up, such a big Batman guy, mm. I was always like, "Yeah, bats, darkness. That's their." But I guess that's their thing because they could see so much better than everyone else. Mm-hmm. I I think I'm gonna go bats. Bats, one for bats. Mush. What's the reasoning for a bat? What do you mean? What's their purpose? Uh, uh, they eat a lot of bugs. Yeah. They do eat Who bugs? eats the mosquitoes? I think they. I think bats. Eat. Bats eat mosquitoes. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the bat then. The bat. <laughs> That's really only. I, I don't. I don't know. That's why. not. That has nothing to do with this. Yeah, problem. No, no, nothing at all. But I do. He just appreciates that. Yeah. That I get things mosquitoes away. But the because I feel like the candy giving a kid candy really. I don't. I never understood it either. I just was like. I just believed it. I guess. But bats, I truly was like, wow, they're blind. It's kind of crazy. How I mean, there's like, a phrase. How they can see without seeing. Yeah, like how yeah. they get in these mosquitoes blind. Was it? Don't, don't bats use echolocation? They or? do use they that did. as well. They do, they do use echolocation as well. So they're just In talented. addition to their sight. Mm. They just flip that on and off like a filter. Yeah. They're a 5 It helps player. them hunt. Exactly, yeah. All right. So you go with the bats, Francis. Bats, and then the other one is uh, sugar mate not making kids hyper. Golly, I, I see. I don't even. I'm not even going to allow that. I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going with bats. I'll go with bats. Sure, go Francis, with- you have a sneaky sweet tooth. Sure do, and yeah. it definitely makes me hyper, and then I crash. So you know, 
Maybe it's placebo. Maybe you just think that it's making you hyper. Same thing with like Clemmer doesn't drink coffee. He only drinks a Coke in the morning. Maybe you think that gives you energy. I, I don't know. It could be. I mean, yeah. It's caffeine. Feel, no. He's got the caffeine. caffeine. Oh, duh. It feels the like it does. Yeah. So. Forgot yeah, about that's that. the caffeine. I, 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 I don't know. I, the bats, I never really believed bats were blind. We had a bat in our house in New Hampshire once, escaped, and it was flying around. Could, I never thought it could see three times better than humans because it would like smash into walls. It was probably just panicked. Mm-hmm. But it did seem to at least have some vision. So I never really believed they were blind. I, the, the sugar in kids thing. I mean, every parent I know is like, you cannot give the kid sugar after 6 p.m. They'll freak out. Blah, blah, blah. They'll never get to sleep. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's crazy to me. I guess I'll go that one. Bats are also the worst part of aquariums. What? What? Aquariums? Yeah, aquarium? Aquarium? Like, yeah, yeah I guess. They're dying, no, they're, <laughs> they're dying underwater. No, they're all... Aquariums are... That's where you put fish, Marty. They're tank of drowned bats. Are, are, are penguins fish? They're in aquariums. So he's right. Th- thank you. Damn. Um, they, God damn it, he's right. <laughs> when he's right, he's right. <laughs> there's a the Batman. There's <laughs> always a <laughs> bat <laughs> little cave when you're walking through, like, just to get to the next sea thing. And I, they're, it's always dark, right. and I fucking hate it, too. But I They're scary, they're too. Their wings are gross. Really scary. You ever see those the vampire Real veiny. Yeah, the the those, huge ones? Yeah, those, yeah, are those are crazy. Fuck out of me. Uh, Francis? Didn't we already do yeah, this? Yeah, you did. You finished yeah. the bats. Uh, uh, and you did bats. Sorry. Nick? Bats? Or... Well, bats. I'm going to go with the sugar rush, because like, even after Halloween, we'd go downstairs and... I'd have banana laffy taffies be bouncing off the walls, man. I was just excited. I was probably yeah. just excited. KB, it's definitely the sugar one. I think the sugar rush is real. I think what's going on there is you're so happy from the dopamine rush of the sugar and the candy that it's perceived as hyperactivity, and maybe that happiness does cause that. Mm-hmm. So I think a sugar rush is real, but it doesn't make you actually. But the sugar isn't the ru- what gives you the rush, right? Yeah. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, okay, so bats are going to win by one. Next matchup, we have uh, taste bud zones. They don't exist. Mm. So, you know, have you ever been heard the, like the like, yeah. map? You taste, yeah, the map where it's like, oh, you sweet things. You taste them only in the back of your tongue is where all the sweet tastes come from. I don't think I ever believed that. Yeah, so this is one that it's why it's a little bit, I guess, lower. But the uh, t- average human has about 8,000 taste buds scattered over the tongue. Each one of them contains a mixture of receptor cells that can process any and all of the five tastes. I wanted to look up what the five tastes were. I wish I did. I didn't. Sweet, sort of. salt, cold, umami. Cold is a taste? Oh, yes. Umami is in the back it's right of the tongue. Sexual or bitter. I think bitter was one for sure. Bitter is bitter, definitely yeah. Tobacco, but, yeah, but I always believe that too. I was like, the you get sugar taste in the back of your tongue is where all those receptors are. Not true, not true at all. Mm. Uh, going up taste against in your tongue right now. <laughs> going up against another one, the number nine seed, another food one, the food pyramid. The food pyramid was something I think we were all taught growing up. The food pyramid was just like basically something made to d- d- design to sell bread, more or less, okay. and it was designed by. Yeah, I have it all here. The U.S. Department of Agriculture set the guidelines for schools and military and all that. Uh, and they represented the agriculture inter- industry, which has a vested interest in promoting diets based on things such as corn and meat, which have proven to be unhealthy in large quantities. So that's something we all learned. Hey, you're supposed to be eating these foods in this, these quantities. And that was wrong and nutritionally bad for us. So that versus the taste buds not being in the zones or whatever, like we were taught. Let's start with you, KB. Oh, this is definitely the... F- I stopped believing it a while ago, but the food pyramid. That's, this was preached to us by health teachers... I think it was even up in our like pediatrician's office. Which yeah, is crazy. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it and it was we had to memorize it. Didn't you have to? Uh, we had a blank one here to like fill yeah. it in. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. And it was wildly wrong. Yeah. Yeah. And, like so, bread. Yeah. We bread carbs were the like the the thing you had to eat the most of was important. bread. Yeah. Bread and corn. <laughs> Yeah, we. That's not, absurd. I believe bread was so healthy. Yeah. Oh so hell. Mm-hmm. It was like bread, and then vegetables were like the next most <laughs> you're supposed to be eating. <laughs> vegetables, I think, were split with meat, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. The bread had the whole top of the pyramid. Remember, the bread had zone like zone. It was yeah. very yeah. important. The carb. Yeah, the big ass base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Nick? And they, they they got rid of the food pyramid. Now it's the food steps, right? It's like a dude walking up steps. I haven't seen the new one. Man, neither have I. I think that's what it is. It I haven't looked at the order. But yeah, it's wild that bread is oftentimes what you give up when you're trying to be healthier. Mm-hmm. And that was the thing yeah. that was you were told to have the most. Every meal should have had bread mm-hmm. <laughs> on every br- our breakfast. Like our perception of what a good breakfast was was insane. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was like, like sugar and toast. bread. Yes, yeah, that's all. French right. toast is just uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going food pyramid in a uh, easy one. Food pyramid, clumber. 
Yeah, the fruit pyramid. I, I you'd always kind of assume that might be some level of bullshit when you were a kid. You're like, this isn't. Also, like, why are you forcing this down my throat? I don't buy the groceries. My parents do. Like, this isn't on me. Yeah, well, you, you were there when both sets of pyramids were made. That's so right. Which one is harder right, on you? I am very old. Yes. Uh, no, the food pyramid thing was. It was always kind of this weird, like, <laughs> bullshit thing. So it's like, eh. No. Yes, uh, I am old. <laughs> I mean, after the million joke, you kind of run out of responses. And now I'm just going to be like, yep. <laughs> yes. You got me again. I, I am, am still old. old. Yes. I was going to say, Clummer, you are looking particularly old today. <laughs> this is an older. old day for oh, you. I was here until you know 10 doing the stream, and you got to get up in the morning. Yeah. It, it makes me uh, tired. You know? yeah. Grains is still the second I'm old, biggest Marty. on a new one. They still want people out. Well, grains like probably rice. Milk is the biggest on it. See? <laughs> it's just every time they just change it to something else that they want to sell. It's crazy. Meat and beans is the smallest. Beans. Legumes has their own section. Beans. Oils has their own sliver. Jesus. Wait, you're, well, like, it's recommended that you have more, or is they saying like this is like the max you should be having? I don't understand how this one works. They, it's still a pyramid, but it's steps now. It makes no fucking sense. Hmm. Okay, so we're three zero in favor of the pyramid, Francis. Yeah, I think pyramids. Actually, I don't know what the other. I think it should win. This is to me. What, if you look at it today, you just say, how on earth was that ever accepted as, you know, what we're prescribed to eat? And it was such a good branding and it was so ubiquitous. I, you know, we all memorized it. I remember being, I think I was quizzed on it uh, in school. So food pyramid for sure. Food pyramid, yep. Mush? I went through a period of time where I was worried about losing some taste buds. I like when I burn my mouth on stuff, I would always be like, I'm losing some. So I would start to use the bottom of my tongue and realize there's <laughs> not taste buds down there. So I'm going to go pyramid. Okay. The body, like you would put the food I would below drink, your tongue? I would drink, yeah. And I would drink a lot of stuff like this yeah. and put it under and like. It's like it's a I thermometer. Could. Yeah. The, but that means you, you're going to, are you going to, you're going to go taste buds? No, I'm going pyramid. Yeah, okay. the, the logic makes sense. You just don't see it. The bottom of the tongue is not good for much. I guess it's only really good for proving to the orderlies that you've taken your pill mm -hmm. Basically, and then yeah. spitting it out later because you know it's no good. Useless. Yeah. I guess you can use a giant Indian chief to escape before they find out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. As it turns out, he can lift the water fountain. <laughs> uh, Robbie. I'm with everyone else. I think this one's really easy for the food pyramid. Like the carrots in the eye thing i feel like the taste bud one i always kind of had a thought of that probably was it like warheads or some sort of candy that had like a diagram of where to put the candy yeah i think it, it was it might have been like a baby me. bottle popper so it was weird i remember a, a cartoony tongue diagram yeah all right so the winner of that is going to be the pyramid uh now we have our one seed versus 16 seed chain we can do the chain first only a few nothing crazy uh, a couple options. Uh, the first being that we all kind of, I think, are taught that chameleon, chameleons change their color to hide from predators. No. Not That true. is true. Bro, it's used almost entirely for body temperature control and for communicating with other chameleons. Oh, fuck that's that. A, uh, that's yeah. kind of cooler. There's a I'm kind of disappointed. I'm that's not encouraged. cooler. That was like the it funnest cool. fact. That's how they talk to each other. That's awesome. It's Randall and Monsters, Inc. Like, yeah. that's just not true. They talk to each other <laughs> through the what changing the of colors and they use it to regulate their body temperature. Which is kind of crazy. Huh. Uh, this is why people turn to politics <laughs> because they they want to. They're telling me things that I don't want. I, I, this is what I think about all day. You want to? I'm, be like, I'm uh, thankful I've been lied to. Everything's been better. Yes, you guys are like exactly. Cipher in the Matrix. It's like the ignorance is bliss guy. Yeah, you just want to stay in. That's me. Uh, Thomas Edison invented the light bulb. Not true. Not true. Bro. Thomas Edison invented the first light bulb that was affordable for mass production, but other people invented oh. the first light bulb. What? <laughs> I feel like we all think he made it. Like he, he kind yeah, of made produced he, it. That, that's that's pretty good. That's almost more an accomplishment than making a working light bulb. Yeah, because like mass if, you, if it costs you a billion dollars for the light bulb, who's that good for? No one. You you able to make cost it a billion cheaper. dollars to make like the I think the bomb, fact of creating it in, in from scratch is amazing. That is amazing. I'm just saying, let's not sleep on mass producing it, and making it available to everybody. We're that, not that's sleeping a big on deal. it, but I think that it's crazy that if you anyone asks who created the light bulb, it's we all always say Edison. Edison. It's like Henry yeah. Ford didn't create who a car; he Tesla? created the most efficient way to build a car. I, I would say that Henry Ford created the first mass-produced car. I wouldn't. Right? Do you think that Ben car. Franklin should get some credit for it as well? With the kite for the, the kite and the key and everything. The, uh, By the way, that was another one that was on the list. I didn't. Include. Yeah, that's Franklin. not true. And Franklin, no. Electricity. I was him for Halloween. They said so. They say they they doubt it because if he were to do that, he'd be dead. 
basically. Yeah, I guess if he would got be electrocuted dead. by doing that, he would be dead. No, people get hit or by hurt. lightning all the time. And they they don't, zap. They, yeah, zap. But there's the, a guy who got hit by lightning 17, seven times. He had to kill himself. They said with the conductor at Matt Hasselback and his wife. Yeah, oh, separate, uh, separate occasions. He's mm-hmm. learning the that's Seahawks right now. Yeah, learning this. How about you shut the fuck up? Though, I'm just right? telling you. This, like I didn't include it. Guy. I didn't include it for a reason. <laughs> that's your favorite guy. I was him for Halloween, second grade. Yeah, I loved him. All right. The another one was Napoleon being oh, short. Napole- Napoleon, he, he was not. He, he was, was not for the uh, not for the time. He was not. He was, he was about five, five eight. Five seven five eight, which is taller guess, than the, sure. the average European at the time. Wow, these and are that's new even facts. pretty tall for right now. Right? I didn't know that. Five, yeah, five eight. And it was a Napoleonic why complex. That's like KB the only thing them. I know about him. Yeah, uh, wasn't that like a smear campaign against the British. Him after he was exiled? The British wanted to smear him uh, against like all of his accomplishments and make him seem like shit, like shittier. So they like, oh, he's short. He's short. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so this one's a little murkier, but tetanus. Coming from the rust on a nail. So, like, you're always taught, like, you don't want to step on a rusty nail and get tetanus. The tetanus doesn't come from a nail. It just comes from dirt getting into your blood. So, it's the dirt from a rusty nail. It's not the rust. Yeah. That's okay. why I'm saying it's murky. I can. But I always thought that, like, oh, I can't get rust into my blood because that'll fuck me up. But if rust isn't the actual problem. It's just dirt and bacteria. Damn, like, if I knew that, I would have gotten a bunch of rust in my blood. As yeah, a kid. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said it was murkier. Uh, this is from one of us. Uh, you need to be married to have a kid. What? This person thought who's, whole who's the pussy? <laughs> this, well, I, I okay. Let me let me explain myself. I thought what? it was it was these were things we were told when we were kids that were like not or things we thought we were kids that were not true. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like when you're like four or five, you don't think that. No, when I, I was four or five, I was maybe, thinking about yeah. pumping loads. I didn't know everyone. about no, but you thought like to ha- no, no, you thought about like if someone had ha- to have a baby, they must be married. Like obviously, yeah, yeah, I, was, yeah, I think we were taught raised. It was, a dumb, it was yeah. a dumb little kid thing to think. I was I definitely in a thought that very European household. <laughs> mm. knew, I knew very well. You didn't. You could have a partner. Yeah, you knew about partners, partners, homosexuals. There were a lot of ways <laughs> to have a kid without being married. And you knew all that back uh, when you were a kid? Yeah, I was progressive. Well, I was grew up in the 80s, so we didn't really have the That's same right. sensitivities. That's right. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I met my first gay person like my first day of bar stool. <laughs> 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 uh, and then the last one, wealthy people need to wear tuxedos to work. What? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll one up to this one too. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Definitely something I believe. I also thought they drove limousines like everywhere. Like I thought, <laughs> they drove, they drove, were they like the drivers? Of I them? didn't know like who drove. Like I just knew they had limousines and they and they wore tuxedos. So if you were like a lawyer or like a very esteemed profession, that's what you wore. Okay, so among those chains, we can pick the chameleons changing color to hide from predators, Thomas Edison inventing the light bulb, Napoleon being short, tetanus coming from rusty nail. That one stinks. Uh, you have to be married to have a kid, uh, wealthy people wearing tuxedos to work. KB, which one do you want? Mm. Run them back. Uh, chameleons changing colors, Thomas Edison inventing the light bulb, Napoleon was short, tetanus from the rusty nail, having to be married to have a kid, or wealthy people wearing tuxedos to work. Thomas uh, Edison. Thomas. Thought that, that was, yeah. Thomas Edison. Fooled me. Nick? Mm hmm. Yeah, the kite with the key on it was iconic. It's not really Edison. That was that's Benjamin Franklin. Franklin. Ben Franklin. Oh, shit. Ben- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I those- guess not as iconic as I thought. <laughs> 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 uh, in that case, uh, fuck it. Give me- I'm doing Rusty Nail. Rusty Nail. No, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll go Edison still. Edison, Clemmer. I'm gonna go tuxedos. It was a big part of my childhood for a couple of years. I really thought tuxedos were quite the thing. One for tuxedos, Francis. A better one, Clemmer, would be. I, I remember thinking that to get a limo, rent a limo would would cost like hundreds of yeah. thousands yeah, of that's dollars. True. I that's that's the same thing. And then you grow up, and it's like, hey, everybody, chip in for the prom limo. It's gonna be twenty five dollars a person. <laughs> yeah. Every time I th- saw a limo, I thought there would be like an A list celebrity in the back. Yeah. yeah. It was just teenagers giving <laughs> jerking it's each other all- off. <laughs> the reason I didn't use that, uh, which is true, right? That's a David Spade joke. So. Is it? Yeah. Interesting. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. I watched a lot of David well, Spade. I feel like that's uh, to be forgive like, me, I did not know. David Spade fan. I'm not up to speed well, you, on. Uh, well, when you grew up in the '90s in SNL, and it, like it was a it was a big joke. He, he did us. that on SNL. I, so. I feel like oh. there's a joke. Everyone has had it, but you would have been like four years yeah. old. Yeah, you're, 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 you need like a reset. Yeah, you need a reset. Like we're not stealing jokes. It's just we all we all. No, I'm not. I'm obviously no, busting. No, no, no one's stealing jokes. But that's why I that's why I didn't say those because I don't comedy reset. There should be a comedy reset. Francis. I'll go with the... I like the tetanus one. I'll go with that. The tetanus one. Yeah. Marty? 
I'm going uh, Edison. Did you guys think that you had to be rich to eat sushi? No. no. Yes. I didn't know I had sushi younger, I guess. I never had sushi when I was younger. I always thought you had to be like rich people ate sushi. Mm. And not a problem for me. I, don't think. I was super afraid of undercooked meats as a kid, too. Oh, yeah. I still am. I yeah, me too. Yeah, like, my, like I, our hamburgers couldn't have any pink in them yep. growing up. Chicken, I'm, I'm still terrified of. My chicken, dad went yeah. to the hospital for food poisoning from eating raw chicken, yeah. so I'm terrified of it. I liked the meatball and cheese subs from Subway for a long time, and there was a small hint of mad cow disease that broke out, oh. mm-hmm. and I thought they would specifically be found <laughs> in meatball and cheese subs at Subway. Those subs. I was super afraid of anthrax as a kid as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I remember I thought there was some in my Pepsi Blue. <laughs> <laughs> was there? No. Bob Fox? So this won't matter, but I'm going to go chameleon. I still think that one's pretty crazy. Just the fact that oh, yeah. it's not a thing. I, I, I'm mind blown by that. A dumb thing I thought when I was a kid, I thought if you played video games against the computer, that someone that worked for that was video playing game company you. was playing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did too. Yeah. I may have too. <laughs> I still yeah, I definitely don't did. understand it's a good how job. to... I didn't get it. We've already explained this to you a million times. They just record a bunch of stuff. Uh, I've said this to you like four times. Yeah, but how do they know exactly what's going to happen in this game? Makes no sense. Because they have it's coded. It's all written in the code in the (laughs) game. It's not. This is not hard. Yes, it is. They're not going to know. This makes me mad because you're not listening. Matt Cahill scored 86 points in the game. They have because they have a tracker. They they don't. The name. It's all done in code. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, So Thomas Edison not inventing the light bulb is going up against our number one seed, which was from Marty Mush. Hibernation. What do you think of when you think hibernation? When you think hibernation, how, what do you think happens with the animals? I'll ask you two because I know we like, talked about it. How long? Bears think- sleep all winter. They don't. Are you, are you asking us? They yeah. go into some type of den or burrow yeah. and sleep they for an entire sleep. season. They do not sleep. They're just kind of like stay indoors. Yeah. They're walking now that around, I think about it, they weren't asleep for three months the straight. The first ones that like went through COVID. But I thought that. Yeah, they just kind of stay inside and do the same shit they're already doing, but they do less of it. Yeah, I said this to Ken Jack today, and he was he learned today that they don't I sleep had, the whole time. It makes perfect sense. Like, obviously, they're not fucking asleep for three months straight. Like, it makes perfect Dude, sense. Dude, I don't know, because, like, yeah. turtles and fish are under the frozen water are just kind of there, yeah, they're sleeping, frozen. stagnant. You know if they're frozen underwater, I guess that's like one. It's kind Turtles? of different. They're not frozen. they're not frozen. They're swimming. Yeah, I think the fish they're are swimming frozen. underneath what? the ice. But like a three hundred. Fish just are the fish are frozen no. solid. No, 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 no. You would die. No. But like, no, I'm saying if it's really cold, your heart rate and everything else in your body and metabolism, all that shit slows down. Slows down. Back yeah. Underwater too. But like for a three hundred pound bear, I was like, oh yeah, it just falls asleep for Wait, a few months. Yeah. The turtles not go true. underwater for the. I thought so. Yeah, I think so. I, I thought they'd be above. That they need air. Are you sure they don't sleep, the bears? It's what it said. It yeah. said they just kind of like go into like a low, uh, sort of like low activity chill. mode, yeah. like low power mode. <sighs> I just don't, don't know. Yeah, I, I think mean, that's kind of what we all do. I grow in New Hampshire. You do the same thing. You don't really, you just kind of hunker down. Yeah, but the, they don't eat, right? Don't they not no, eat? They eat? They're eating the stuff they got all. They get everything they for high. The other nine months, yeah. they, they hoard this food. So they, they, they don't keep all them. that salmon in there all that time. They don't salmon, but a lot, go of, bad. a lot of crazy other stuff, though. They go eat berries. Berries. Big fan of berries. They're bringing all those berries into the cave? Yeah, for the whole winter. For the whole winter that's yeah. cool they don't have a freezer <laughs> no it's outside it's you a temperature one. they're not going in and out in and out no they're staying in that's what yeah, they're they doing stay in. and to what they go out to get those frozen blueberries no oh, they're already there oh. they they, they, they <laughs> not the blueberries you're a smart hibernate. person how do you not understand this they, they go inside in like november and they don't but come out until february those blueberries would spoil it's so at cold. room temperature in the cave maybe they the get them in like september october yeah the cave's not like 70 degrees the cave is still cold no the cave's nice and cozy they have a fire yeah it's Cozy and whimsy. Fire as well. They have a fire in there. They're cozy. They have a fire in there. <laughs> They're sleeping. You don't know what goes on in there. You, th- a, you thought they were sleeping the whole time. There's shadows on the walls. Bob Fox, uh, <laughs> hibernation versus Edison. Hibernation for sure. I learned about this just a couple months ago. I think this like went viral on Twitter or something, and it blew my mind. And, and again, it makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Like, yeah, like obviously they're not going to sleep for months, but I just why obviously learned that I when I was they got little. big and fat. Well, yeah, yep. I, I just thought Wait, like I guess don't they lose weight in hibernation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, it eats away. At the, they yeah. lose hundreds of pounds because they get fat beforehand. I, th- I thought it was like, and I think this influenced a lot too. That one SpongeBob episode Dude, where Sandy yes. gets really fat and for scary, hibernation. It's a scary, very one scary one. She does that, but yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. About. Yeah, uh, Mush. Yeah, no, I'm going hibernation. I never. I just always, three months, I thought they'd sleep. I'm like, that's crazy how they mm-hmm. just do that. And I've always wondered, I always wondered why no one's ever tried to film that. <laughs> the hibernation? Yeah. Get killed by a bear? I, I, I bet it's fair. been filmed. Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Probably something out there. 
Well, I'd like to try now. Two for hibernation. You should you should do that that Grizzly Man did. Do exactly that. Just Dude. go inside. Yeah. It worked out well for him. Go try, go try it. What happened? You to get mauled. Oh. We were taught that in school, though. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. This yeah. is this a, that's taught. another submission. Teachers are smart. So, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a great one. It is a good mm-hmm. one. Because then you grow up and all your moron friends are teachers. I know. Yeah, I know a couple of teachers yeah, who's now. Dumb, who, they're not dumb. They get summers off. We're dumb for going to work in this no, summer. No, no, no. Like, we, we just thought that they were like, literally, they, they knew everything. Yeah, we they thought they were like a, like a genius. I thought they were infallible. Like, they yeah. were only able to get that job because they were the smartest people. Yeah. Probably. Right. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. basically, they were almost better than doctors to get Yes. That, that gets me so mad when, they, when they're like, oh, no, I have to go back to work. Oh, vacation's over. It's like, just embrace that you had. Don't try to sell me that you're a hard worker. Someone just be like, that. you don't want to get the two. Oh, no. I want to get on the Go crazy. That's that, fine. It, like, Why it, don't you call them uh, glorified babysitters while you're at Because yeah. I don't yeah. believe they are. <laughs> but I do believe they shouldn't, like, think going back to work after two and a half months off is some great endeavor. Like, just own that you only have to work 180. If I was a teacher, I'd be like, guess what, motherfucker? Another week off. Fuck yeah. you. I don't, kids, though, I don't know. I, I, dude, I don't think teaching is uh, easy. No. no, it's such no. a hard no, no, no. I, I, I didn't say it was. You've got to be up so early every day. Oh, yeah, that's on. No, I get to put up with kids. Yeah. Like, that sucks. Oh, or, yeah. such a and a lot of teachers so have second jobs over the summer. I just don't yeah. like that they try to then push how hard they work on the rest of us. That's the thing. That, like, like, well, like, they also don't get paid me. a lot. They don't get paid well. A lot of people don't get paid a lot. No, I don't see the guy that's a clerk at 7 Eleven having these same things. Like, he doesn't talk about how hard he works over and over again. Yeah, but teachers are important. <laughs> yeah, clerk at 7 Eleven doesn't have talking... to deal with kids for like No, but that's still spare. an honorable job. It's still a job. He, he helps out a lot of people. It's not <laughs> as honorable as a teacher. I, I, I feel like teachers are the only ones. Well, He's not molding oh, the future of our nation. Up, do you, do you no, give that, up the seat on your plane that's for a 7 Eleven employee? We, we, we're going over 32 <laughs> different lies they told us our whole lives. You don't think that we're the teachers are molding the future generations of Americans? YouTube is more than the future of our. That's unfortunately probably true. And Wikipedia. I feel bad. I, I, man, that one saying, those who can't do teach, that is what turned me off of teaching as a profession yeah. my whole life. And I've gotten to a point in my life now where I'm not really so sure that I want to do anymore. You know? What do you mean? Yeah. Those who can't do teach. Right. I think oh, okay. do Francis, is overrated. Okay, <laughs> I think it's I overrated. Do anymore. Doing. Yeah, I'm done with. Do- I don't want to do. No, I don't want to. I, do. I want to teach. <laughs> well, no, I don't, you don't. You want to do that? You're I the- loved teaching. I was a tutor. A yeah, tutor. yeah, That yeah. was my thing. Would you want to have a whole classroom though? Um, I don't know what the. Well, yeah, but probably. I'd like to be a professor. I what, like what teaching. age though? Do you think like high school or? No, I would school? want like seventh graders. Oh God, the worst would, humans I think, alive. I think Se- that's the sixth worst. Seventh grade. I think that's the worst age. That high, is the school's worst. The, high school's the no, worst. No, there's no worse human than like a seventh grade boy. Seventh, seventh grade, grade boys have, have have well, they're, they're not as funny, like, hyper they're as you know fifth graders and fourth graders. Uh, and they're not so shitty yet. Oh, I don't know about that. My kids, I, the, when I had, because I, I tutored all the ages, that was the best age. All right. But you were also getting paid a significant amount more to teach a fraction of But that's of also one on one, not yeah. when it's yeah. like 25 kids. Yeah. In class. I know, but I had you. enough kids that I, over the years, that I thought I had a decent enough. Uh, but you had collection. like upstanding kids from good family. Yeah, but I, I also, we, I don't know, I went yeah. to some like schools and volunteered too. I feel like you would threaten to like bomb a school. In a week. <laughs> no, no. I I, um, I liked the kids. All right. I loved it. Mm. That's what I was probably supposed to do. But it just, we don't give a shit in this country about teachers. We don't pay them. Thanks. Well, how, oh, do you want your taxes to? Or how do we want, sleep? I don't know. Oh, thanks, I'm not even buddy. saying how. I'm just saying yeah. Korea, teachers are all stars. Right. They get paid tons of money. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should do that. Mm-hmm. But Korea also has the highest teenage suicide rate in the world. It's not like a bad oh, Clemmer, you are <laughs> too late. You already said we should do it. Yeah, too late, <laughs> yeah. All right. This is a rough scene. Uh, so, Hibernation versus Edison. Who's up next? Francis, right? Sure. <laughs> hibernation versus Edison. <laughs> Just seeing if I can poke Clemmer over the edge. <laughs> you know, no, not even close. Oh, no. Hates teachers. Not um, even close. I, 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 I don't hate teachers at all. I do, I do hate when they, they're like, oh my God, it's three more days till back to work. When meanwhile, everyone reading that post works. Like, don't just have some awareness. Of, hey, Gooch, let's you step you back. Have a, let's look step at what back and look at what we're doing. Yeah, yeah let's take a, take a gander at what we're doing. We're going to creatively clip this so Clemmer's anti-teacher, right? Oh, that's <laughs> 
Yeah. Yep. yep, yep. <laughs> no, I don't speak about my job now. I meant it more when I had like a you know a, a twenty years doing sales, and I have you know I'm, I'm into work you know August eighteenth, and I got you know I'm reading on Facebook about someone say, oh no, I have to go back to work. I've been off for two months. It sounds like it's the same person. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, just say their name. Vegas. No, no, it was every it was almost every teacher I knew. It was like twenty of them were all the same post. Am I alone in this, or am I the only one not afraid to? Uh, I'm just not go really. The, I'm not really reading a I whole lot of. Think of any examples. Well, I, I'm not. I don't, I don't have Facebook. Facebook anymore. But like five years ago, though, maybe because I had adult friends then. Like, I'm not envious of the teachers day to day. I think it's a a hard job. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, I never would want to do that either. Yeah. And also having great shit when you get home from work. Oh, that that's actually like, the like, one. You got thing. homework. Stay uh-huh. late to help extra. Fuck that. I'd be I'd out of there to grade papers. Mm-hmm. That sounds fun. Um, I mean, oh, reading like a, essays, I think, would like, be fun. I would think it would be like, oh, look at this idiot again. Another 40. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> you think they're rooting against students? You, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd be rooting against uh, kids I didn't like yeah. so hard. That's yeah, fun. One prick in the class. Yeah. 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 Like, Got him again at 34. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Uh, so Francis hibernation already? I'll go with hibernation. And I, even though I still don't really believe that, I think the, the those bears are snoozing. <laughs> I, I know for they're sleeping, dude. They're deeply asleep. It's a deep sleep we'll never know. They're in PJs too. Yeah, they got the nightcap on. Yeah, the, yeah. the, the snores are pushing it up. Yeah, sometimes they'll readjust, like they'll <laughs> swing. Yeah, the they'll do like a lip the smack. Side. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, <laughs> but there's no blueberries in there. That's for sure. No, 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 no. no. It's in the pee when you wake up from that. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. Best pee of your life, climber. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna go with the hype. I love how he lounges yeah. like a cool guy after it lands. I would be too. I'm jealous. Yeah, that sounded. I thought it was real. I thought it was came yeah. from an asshole. 25 years of work. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy it a little bit. Um, <laughs> Fuck the teeth. Yeah, exactly. See, see, no days off for me. <laughs> Um, I'm going to go with uh, hibernation here because I, I really believed it was real even though I shouldn't have for way too long. Yeah. Uh, Nick? You guys are acting like this is common knowledge. Like that at some point somebody learned that hibernation isn't real. I I found out just now. I found out two months ago. Yeah, I found out pretty From, recently. I think Big Ev was like, I've had my eye on Big Ev's hibernated for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely hibernated. You kidding me? That day he missed your guys' athletic competition? <laughs> he didn't wake up for 24 hours straight. <laughs> He's rolling around in a cave with a deer carcass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going hibernation. Not close. <laughs> hibernation, KB. But yeah, but Edison, the light bulb. These are two of like the core facts I retained from school, mm-hmm. and they're both wrong. <laughs> That's true. I'm going the light bulb because I can believe that bears don't actually sleep for three months. But yeah. the I thought Edison was the light bulb guy. So one descending for Edison, but hibernation is going to move on. Uh, before we get to the other half of the bracket, let's hear from our next sponsor of the day, BetterHelp. Uh, mm-hmm. Lights Camera Barstool is sponsored by BetterHelp. Do you ever feel like your brain is getting in its own way? Mm-hmm. Like you know, you know, you know what you should do, what's good for you, but you just can't do it. Therapy can help you figure out what's holding you back, so that you can work on yourself instead of against yourself. We've all, I think, benefited from therapy uh, that have done it. It's an incredible process. Helps you a lot, especially. I think it helped me a ton over the course of COVID. I used BetterHelp because I couldn't get to my physical therapist, or not physical therapist, couldn't physically get to my therapist. Uh, and if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched to a licensed therapist. And switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash lights today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash lights. It's Thank you to BetterHelp. One the, probably one of the best inventions is BetterHelp. BetterHelp? Oh, yeah. Like this... Probably it's probably one of the better ones. I don't like physically going anywhere. Exactly. If you can make, especially for mental health. Yeah. Especially, yeah, to talk about your problems, you yeah, don't want exactly. to do that in person. Exactly. You don't want to. St- you don't have to go anywhere and do that. You're just adding another step onto something. And anytime you add a step to something, it's less likely you do it. 100%. Just a fact. Uh, so thank you to BetterHelp. Uh, on the other half of the bracket, we have the number six seed, and this I think is a very infamous one that most people now, at least once you grow up, you kind of know it's not true. Which is that swallowed gum doesn't digest for seven years. In fact, like the thing I was reading, it's like it's, it's out of your body by the next time you poop. Like, it, it's just gone because it doesn't. Your body recognizes it doesn't have any value. Just right out. Uh, that's going up against the number eleven seed, uh, which is blood is blue inside the body. Not true. Blood is red everywhere. 
Oh. That's something I was taught was that blood is blue in your body. And the Same. second it gets hit, hit, hits air or oxygen, it turns red. Yeah. Not true. Blood is so red. So why are the veins blue then? Apparently it's the outside of the vein. Yeah, the veins something. just might just be blue. The veins are blue normal. I, I got a blue vein case. Yeah, but the blue is red. Or the blue. The blood is red everywhere. So blood being actually red everywhere, not blue inside the body, versus swallowing gum, not digesting for seven years. Uh, start with you, KB. I actually know the guy who started the blue blood rumor. Oh. He was just fucking around. <laughs> My neighbor, Ray McKenzie. Yeah, he was. Yeah, I didn't think anyone actually believed that. Was he mayor of Bethlehem? His, his dad was. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> uh, art. Oh, okay, yeah. Shout out to Ray McKenzie, giving us a lie. Uh, and yeah, shout out him. So you're going with the. What was the other one? Uh, blue blood versus uh, swallowing gum and it digesting for seven years. Yeah, I guess I believe that as a child. So you're going with the gum? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's nuts. Nah, nothing crazy. One for the gum, Nick. I was afraid of swallowing my gum, and I f- swear, like when I did it on accident, I could feel it in me for a little bit. Um, I think it's kind of easy to believe as a kid. Like, it's, oh yeah, I was fully believed it as a kid. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going to go with gum. Another for gum, Clemmer. I gotta go with the blue. I I kind of always thought. I guess I knew it was red. I never really thought much about it. My veins are blue, so I guess I assumed it was blue. That's kind of dumb. What's though. the term blue blood mean when it comes to basketball schools? Or like, what what does so that that's mean? That's blue chip. Per- no, blue blood. Blue, blue chip is blue blood. That's good. Is, uh, blue blood is a like phenomenal old, program. It's, it's like, also yeah. been around a legacy. Yes. Program. No, you guys are thinking of blue chip. chip. No, we're not. No, it's blue chip is a is a, rec- no, is a person. Blue blood is what they call good. schools that have like a, a deep history of okay. yeah. yeah blue basketball. blooded person is that person whose lineage traces back right. to like the Mayflower. Or they use just, that same connotation for for school. No, you, you're thinking of chips. I'm I'm not. It's the chips. There was a movie about. You're doing this to fuck with me. Either that or you're. Is it There's a show? a show that's about cops. That's yeah. a cop show. They that's about blue, cops. Brother. No, 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 no. He's thinking about the show Chips. Yeah. <laughs> starring, Eric, uh, Eric Estrada. Is there yeah, a show? That's right. That's Chips. the show about cops yeah. that you're thinking California of. California Highway Patrol. Oh, Chips. what fun. Yeah, Blue Blood. Blue Blood. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah, it's, it's not fun when we do it. <laughs> no, I just, uh, I didn't know. You guys convinced me. <laughs> Comes from privileged, noble families that are wealthy and powerful. There you go. Nothing to do with college basketball. Did not- you hear about the, the blue ship that hit the red ship? Oh no! Where is give oh, it? No. Hit it! Hit it! <laughs> they got marooned, brother. Ah, uh, no, that's good. One. That's good. One. I'm glad we waited for that. One. That wasn't as bad as last. Well. well worth it. I was thinking something purple because that—that's what I think of when those I two know. It's colors a, it's come a, it's together. A, oh, they got yeah. purple. <laughs> yeah, they got purple. That's not. As bad. <laughs> they got fucking purple. <laughs> uh, Clemmer, you run with the blue blood. Uh, yeah, blue blood. Yeah, blue yeah, blood. Yeah. Francis, I'll go with the other one. Gum. Gum. Yep. Gum. I'm still kind of when I swallow gum now on accident. I still, I still think I, I, I have a momentary yeah. is, lapse of ter- terror. Is this? Um, I don't mean to jump the gun on us, but is there the if you keep your face that long, that position, it'll freeze that way? Myth on there. I heard if you hit someone on the back, back when their face when their face is that way, it gets stuck that stuck. way. What cross-eyed? Yeah. Is that yeah. the thing? Yeah, like yeah, like if you're doing cross-eyed and someone hits you in the back, then your face gets stuck that way. I've heard that. We should try that out. I don't want to try because I'm still scared of it, even though it's like a computer. Not on me. No yeah, way it's not on me. Work. Yeah. Have you ever seen when a dog eats gum and they sh- they fart or shit and like a bubble comes out their butt? <laughs> no. no. That yeah, that's a that thing. One. That's awesome. Uh, Marty. Uh, gum. Really? Yeah, I think I've, so. Uh, Maybe that's something I also believe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's on you. <laughs> uh, I've never seen gum come out, so I still think it's in there. So you're gonna go with the? You stick with gum though? Gum, yeah. Gum. Probably. Marty's reasonings are the best. <laughs> He'll tell you why he doesn't like one and then pick it. It's yeah. the best. Um, I went through a big gum swallowing phase in high school. Just whenever I was done with the gum, I would swallow it. It was weird. I don't know why I did no, it. No, I did a similar thing for a couple of years. Yeah. Why? Um, why? It's just easy. It's I didn't easier throw than it getting out. And throwing it away. So you yeah. just like swallow it. It couldn't be easier to throw <sighs> it out with the wrapper that you did. But I did didn't want guys, the teacher oh, to no, the know that I was long gone gum. at that point. Did you guys ever? Eat Trident with the wrapper on. Yeah, no. it, dissol- it disintegrates. Yeah. yeah, it still tastes like. Wait, it's, what is that? It's not it, good. Though. The foil. There, it was no, 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 wrapper. Like paper. paper. You can eat no. the paper. For yeah, they say you can, but it is not good. You can. It Why would you do that? Because it disintegrates. Yeah, I'm gonna but, go with blue bloods though. You're gonna go with blue bloods. Yeah, I thought that for a long time that your blood was blue. Swallow. I knew Ray Martinez was an idiot, so I never believed him. <laughs> <laughs> that was his name? McKenzie. McKenzie. Ray McKenzie. Oh, Ray Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, there were no Martinez's. <laughs> that, yeah, that, was Virginia. that guy bet 3,000 <laughs> last year, Ray Martinez. Uh, so swallowing gum is going to move on. Next matchup is the number three seed. This one threw me for a loop when I read it. I'm still not sure if I believe it. Humans having five senses. 
Wait. Where we do not only have five senses. We have Wait. more okay. senses. We have beyond the five that we know, we have sense of space. We have balance. We have pain and we have temperature. That's pain is feel. Temperature is feel. That's it's technically a different sense because you can have oh, an internal man. pain. This is just no, technicality. You can have yeah. a stupid I don't like pain. This so pack shit. Stupid. You're Maybe. Uh, shit but then what is another one? <laughs> uh, wine is good for you. No, it's not. Yeah. A glass of wine a day. Glass of it's good for your blood. With dark chocolate. Yeah, they always said that. I don't, so it's good I, for your blood. I don't think it is. Glass of wine at night. I think it was disproven. No, oh, I'm no. saying they always said that. Yeah, the dark chocolate thing chocolate. has to be I true. I thought it was apple. How about when, when no, no, cum it's hits six air, six ciders a night is good for you. <laughs> <laughs> cum hits air, it's dead. I don't think that's true. That's not true. Cum can live for a long time. Oh, I believe that. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'm just asking if it's true or not. I don't think I think cum can live for a while. Yeah. Um, that's why Drake put hot sauce in his. Bingo, yeah. bingo. So humans having more than five senses is going up against the number fourteen seed. Booze kills your brain cells. And also not true. Alcohol, heavy drinking can absolutely damage the brain as well as the liver and other critical systems. But that damage isn't a result of cell death. Did the amount of alcohol required to actually kill brain cells would kill the human first. I just saw a clown wow. fist pump. You were ready for that one. He's trying to make fun of me for being an alcoholic. No, <laughs> no, I love that about you. <laughs> so humans having more than five senses versus... So, I, so it, it still hurts the brain. It just doesn't hurt the cells. These are seems, not technicalities. Like, uh, it doesn't kill your brain cells. Yeah. These are technicalities. I don't like them. <laughs> you can call, you, can if you guys want. Dude, I miss plumbers so much. Yeah, bottle Thanks. that sound. <laughs> you got, it's a door closing. <laughs> <laughs> An old home. If you guys want to swap it, we can swap it. You guys feeling like a swap? I'm always down. Do you want to swap it with like uh, the gum one? Is it's too similar to the gum one? But I remember hearing if you like swallowed a watermelon seed, watermelon a watermelon seed. would grow in you. Oh, yeah. Rugrats. Yeah. Was that from Rugrats? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it was so. even before Rugrats. Like I remember when I was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah I bet. So what do you, would you guys want to swap? You want to do that the, the one. face changing? Face changing. Yeah. Face changing. Let's do a face changing for five senses. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. Face change. Do you want to keep the brain cells? Because that was the thing. Like, you drink, your brain cells are going to die, but that was not true. No, I said it, it was more like you're going to get wet. You're gonna, my dad would say you get, like, a wet brain, which means, like, you're just kind of like... A, <laughs> I kind of love that. You're kind of, like, just stupid the rest of your life if you drink too much. <laughs> you got a wet brain. <laughs> wet brain. <laughs> so that guy's got a wet brain. He's just some kind of clown. <laughs> around, like, like, oh, all right, never. And he, and he kind of does. Like, he's I've like, oh, it's not wrong. Brain, that's yeah. good. Wet brain. All right, wet, <laughs> wet brain is replacing... <laughs> What's well, a real thing, though? That's what brain weird. is... It is a real I've thing. Never. You drink... It damages your brain. I you like, drink it. Yeah, well, yeah and al- alcohol is neurotoxic. It's not... Your brain isn't actually becoming damp. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a finger the brain speed. is always It's because you're drinking. Maybe it, yeah. The brain's always wet. No, it damp. means like... It means like you just... Your brain's broken because you drank too much alcohol. Is it wet or dry up there? It's oh, it's wet. wet. It's I think there's fluid that keeps wet. you from like Look. knocking on your skull. Yeah. yeah. So, wet brain versus uh, your face changing... If you get hit in the back or being stuck, whatever. I, I like the, the face getting stuck because that was, I feel like, something that people legit said. If even someone like did the cross eyes, their parents mm-hmm. would be like, don't do that. You're going to get stuck like that. So I'd go with that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mush? Real quick, if you guys were like able to look into a device to see, like at when you're eating and see what your body's doing to that food, would you look at it? No. You're very Indeed. interested what you ingest. You said you, yeah. when you swallow like a, like a Tylenol or an Advil, I, I you, picture, you think it I picture my body working every day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I think that would be fascinating, but it would be unappetizing. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. I think it'd be gross. Yeah, but then maybe that will cure obesity. Mm. Maybe. <laughs> Was pretty cool. The least invasive yeah. way to lose weight. <laughs> Just have a. I don't think it will because obese time. people shit and they see it in the toilet. They keep going back for eating. Yeah, I think healthy food. They and keep going back for eating. Both <laughs> Do they food, not? I had to keep going back for eating. <laughs> keep going back for eating. <laughs> oh, some good eating. Seeing a whole bunch of mud and stuff in the toilet, and, they, and just go right back to the fucking. <laughs> you, you know, why like, is that specific like, to fat you, people? Too. They go back to eating. I know, but but like you said, it would cure obesity. All right, I have a question about fat people pooping. Um, <laughs> when their butts are so obese that the cheeks just are, wondered. are like gelded together, <laughs> or melded together, and the poop, so the does the poop come out as like a sheet? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah You're asking the wrong guy. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah I think the ass is then, always winter. Do they have to like wipe the walls? Off the color brown. <laughs> do they have to wipe the wall? <laughs> the walls of their cheeks? Out. Like you ever use inside? <laughs> You that Bottom line is, it has to touch skin before it hits the 
Yes. Like, you think it hits the, the toilet bowl? Bit? Yeah, what right. They just it has spread them as far as it has to skim board down yeah. the skin. Mm-hmm. There's people that work here. You could ask. Yes. <laughs> oh <my laughs> the, the, think of how much wiping. Clemmer, go grab, go yeah. grab, go grab somebody to ask. No, I don't. I don't, I don't ask, no, I'm just going by what I've heard. I don't does know. your wiping does your mark. shit come out I'm, like I'm, fat? I'm a health. Does it come out like uh, like lasagna <laughs> pasta from a yeah. pasta yeah. maker? So I think about how skinny person shits. I can help you with that. I think it's like you remember the Play-Doh <laughs> press, like where you press the Play-Doh yes. down, and come out it's like that one, except the flat sheet one. Yeah, kind of like that. Have thin shits? Any of you have thin shits? Just a fat yeah. person that couldn't find the bathroom, so just swatting over a paper shredder. <laughs> 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 it's going to squat over a shredder. Don't <laughs> worry, guys. This is how it works with all this shit. <laughs> uh, mush. Oh, shit. What the fuck are we talking face, about? Face change versus wet brain. That's how we got to that. <laughs> Shitting into credit oh, card readers. Man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I really need to ask someone lodged and in charge about this now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's great. Uh, I'm, I'll go with the face. <laughs> I don't know. You go with the face change. Uh, Francis. <sighs> wet brain. Yeah, uh, that one didn't... I didn't really subscribe to that. I'll go with the face change one. Face change? Yeah, yeah well, I mean, wet brain's real, so it's got to be face change. <laughs> I mean, that's not... It's not even debatable. Four for uh, wet... Or, sorry, face change is going to win, but Nick? So, I don't quite get the face I've change. I've never heard one. this one. My mom told me if I drank from the hose, I'd get lockjaw. <laughs> May have heard I that. I got lockjaw. They said the other yeah, hose is bad. You got, got lockjaw? I got lockjaw. Yeah. From the Clicks. No, not from a hose. From what? I don't know. Maybe sucking dick. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. You, you were waiting for one of us to see. I was waiting for that. <laughs> uh. So wait, you never heard that though? Like, if you were doing like a funny face or something, and you got hit in the back, then your face would get frozen. No. Really? Really? Oh, that so. was a that was a big thing. Yeah. Then make it out west. Like third grade, <laughs> second and third grade. I feel like that was a big. Maybe thing. even younger. Did you ever fall yeah. for the trick where they'd be like, "Yeah, I heard if your fi- hand is bigger than your face, you have cancer." Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I right in the face for that sure. That's one of the most embarrassing moments I think in my entire yeah. life. Yeah. Do you guys ever hear? I hope this isn't in there, but like, if you jack off, you get hair on your palm. Yeah, hairy palms. Never oh, heard yeah. never heard that one. Yeah, but no. I, I was when I was a kid, I thought the front of your hand was also the palm. So I'd see adults with hairy like tops, be like, "Oh, that guy likes to beat his fucking meat." Look <laughs> at this guy; <laughs> he's jacking off like crazy. Uh, but I was wrong, you know. KB, wet brain or face change? Um, eesh. what did you say? Because I don't, I never. I wanted a face change just because I knew something similar. Yeah, I'll go with that. Face change is gonna win. Uh, next matchup, we have the number seven seed versus the ten seed. The seven seed. This is one where I felt like I thought it was real for a very long time. Cracking knuckles causes arthritis. Mm. Not yeah. true. Cracking is out. bubbles bursting in the synovial fluid that surrounds the knuckles. Cracking knuckles can, however, diminish your grip strength, which I did not know. Ooh, hmm. they're almost saying it's like hel- it's like good for you now. Like creates air in your bones. And that feels shit. bad. I'm a chronic knuckle cracker. Me too. Every mm-hmm. morning. Yeah, I do it like maybe every, like twice an hour. Oh, really? yeah. I'm like a chronic knuckle cracker. And when I like hear people doing it, I have to do it. Yes. Yeah. You're just talking about it. I want to do it right now. I'm holding it. Me too. Back. Yeah. I, I, I stopped for a while because I saw somebody cracking knuckles under an x ray machine and it was disgusting. Oof. Ooh. Mm. Really? I'm not, what else yeah, you could you see what like the hand my, looked like. You crack huh? anything weird? I crack my knee. My knee cracks on its own. I do oh, knees and ankles you. and back Ankle and neck. That's the best, I think. Um, that's going up against the number 10 seed. Uh, coal forming diamonds, not true. Also, that's one where I learned it in school. I don't know. Is that not a widespread thing? I always learned. Yeah, yeah. like the pressure, the pressure, yeah. coal pressure into diamonds. On, pressure on yeah. coal turns it into. It's diamonds. even in like movies sometimes. If they yeah, in reality, it's geologically nearly impossible. In fact, coal forms virtually no diamonds. They're created in a variety of ways and places, including the Earth's mantle and asteroid impact zones. But almost <laughs> exclusively not from coal, mm. uh, which is one that I learned. I feel like very early on, it was like, yeah, all diamond, all diamonds are just coal that got compressed really hard. Not true. Uh, so those two, knuckles not causing arthritis versus coal not making diamonds. Start with you, KB. Um, I, I didn't believe, I didn't learn the coal thing. I'll go knuckles. You you in West Virginia didn't learn the coal thing? No. Maybe we, It's because they had their know. coal I just, I, just, I, I, there's never, the, I never, yeah, that didn't make sense. Black? Black coal? <laughs> I agree with you. <laughs> makes zero sense. Uh, Nick? Huh. 
These ones are both good. I'm going to go with knuckle cracking because like I was doing it and I was getting scolded for it. I, coal coming into diamonds didn't turn up, didn't come up in conversation very often. But that's the way, isn't that a popular saying? Yeah. Pressure Maybe I did the pressure. Of, yeah. They say pressure makes diamonds, which I mean, uh, that part yeah. of it is true, but the whole other part of it being cold. I feel like Superman once squeezed coal and the diamond was there. Yeah. Like it's in movies. Yeah. Clemmer? Yeah, so when I was a little kid, I was like two, I guess. I don't, don't remember this at all, obviously. My parents bought a house in New York. It was an older house on Long Island, and it had coal. And they still had some coal there they used to heat the house. And I was like, I want to play in that. And my dad's like, sure, go ahead. And my dad let me play in the coal <laughs> for like Black two hours. Man. And like my mom goes home, I was like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And I was, I was covered head to toe Shut in coal. You're black face. I mean, I was. I was <laughs> He's like, Clemmer, Jordan, full on coal. Yeah. You're covered head to toe in coal. And coal oh, dust. No. Coal dust. Yeah. I get his black lung and change. We're races. completely black. And I get yeah. My dad was just like, I don't know. He said he wanted to do it. Mom's like, you can't just let him do whatever he want. Like this is insane. And so my, and my, my dad had an odd way of parenting. Um, <laughs> but I, I always assumed the coal thing was real. Like you squeeze the coal, it becomes. But doesn't doesn't really make any sense. So I guess that, that's that's my. Answer. Answer there, even though in, you think being one with the coal as I was, I would have a better answer, but I don't. <laughs> you just covered in coal dust, covered in coal. Hilarious yes. image. Uh, <laughs> you look like J. Cole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Francis. Uh, not the coal one. The other one. Uh, the knuckle arthritis. Yeah, for one. sure that one. That one was a, a pretty prominent fear and a reason why I would not do it. Mm -hmm. Were we just told that because is it rude to crack your knuckle? Is it rude? I think it is. I think it just annoyed people. Yeah. 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 It's pretty I, gross. I saw one when I was looking at these lists. I saw one that um, they said their mom said that whenever you hear the ice cream truck playing the music, that that means they're out of ice cream. <laughs> which is <laughs> kind of oh my god! What a horrible <laughs> mother! Yeah, it's kind of kind genius of as a parent, but yeah, bad. You're a bad yeah. mom if you do that. Hundred uh, percent. Marty. Uh, crack and knuckles. My mom still gets mad when I crack my knuckles. So I never heard of the coal one. I'm not too familiar with coal. Mm. I don't know anything about it. Provides most of your electricity in your home. So uh, we got rid of the coal up that first year, I guess. I want to know. Putting a new it. heating system. I have no interest in knowing about coal. That's fair. Yeah, coal. Coal. I think. I don't think is coal good. Isn't coal is no. a, a lot of pollution, uh, right? No. With coal. Fuck coal. Coal. Oh, okay, we're coal. out on coal. Come on, we came. Oh, boys came from the coal. Coal boys, right there. Oh, they, they're going to be pro coal. It's October Sky boys over there, right there. That's like <laughs> great. We movie. were the center of the universe as early as the as late as the fifties. Yeah, that's very true. Uh, Robbie, uh, cracking knuckles for sure. I don't think I ever heard the coal one. Really? Yeah. Maybe that's because they figured out it was wrong. I don't know. By the time you're KB, in you think you have too much information in your head? No, these are th what? <laughs> you knew that a retired Seahawks daughter <laughs> well, that these had things sickle cell. I'm currently learning. You're currently learning. That's fresh. Yeah. That's right. fresh. So I always, then, then that'll go away in a week. Not to pick something so else. So you, you trash it? Not, uh, not intentionally. It's just impossible to keep all that. <laughs> do, you, do you have the same fear, Marty? No, that's why I don't like knowing too many things. I like to know what I know. Right. Not go outside the box. Yeah. <laughs> the last matchup of the day, number two seed versus the 15. The number two seed is, and there's another one I think I only recently found out was not true, camels using their humps to store water. Not mm -hmm. true. Oh, I didn't. I, never that. That. I learned that. The recently. humps are fat. The humps are fat. It stores up food that they can't, if they can't get it out in the desert. Um, that's going up against the number 15 seed, a very common one. Humans only using 10% of your brain. Also not true. Uh, we use the brain uses 20% of the body's energy at only 3% of the mass, which actually, I guess, makes it relatively more. Um, so it's that one's not true. So it's going to be 10% of the brain versus. So, how much do we actually use? So, like 20? Did you use 20% and it's only 3% of your body's mass? Still kind of crazy. That's, that not, how, that's not how that translates. Translate it for me. Well, if it says that the brain uses 20% of the body's energy, that doesn't mean we only use... That mean, doesn't mean we use 20% of our brain. Right. It means 20% no. of the brain is just focused on that. No, 20% of your or body's energy is being used to power your brain, which yeah. is only 3% of your body's mass. Body's energy, we're talking. Well, how do you even measure like how much of our brain we use? Right. I think like when they do like the electric joules, like electrode that's, I mean, that's, measurements. That's a kind of almost like a silly thing even to say because the question is like, all right, well, if you consider one hundred percent of the brain is only twenty percent of the ma of the mass of the brain actually leading to thoughts, I guess, or would it be like some? I, I have no idea. That, that, that I think that's kind of probably a silly. Yeah. What thing. What is the percentages? Is it of yeah? Is it of weight? 
Is it person to person too? Uh, I feel like we're Francis just going is to using another more one. of his brain than I am. Association of Psychological Science says that there's no evidence that we use 10% of our brain. And on the contrary, all existing data says we use 100% of our brain. Yeah, there you oh, go. Right. Yeah, yeah, I good. completely way, agree with that. Either way, we use more than 10% of our brains. Okay. Uh, then, and that was like a common thing. And that's like, I think that got popularized by fucking like limitless. Right. Oh, yeah. And stuff like in in uh, it. Wedding Crashers, I think there was like the quote, we only use 10% of our brain. Oh, they said it we use way before those of our heart or something, some bullshit yeah. like that. Yeah, Lucy. But yeah, everyone was saying this for years. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, so we'll start with that. Uh, Robbie Fox. I like that one, the, the 10% of your brain thing, because it's it's been a thing forever. Mm -hmm. And I figured probably wasn't 10%, but the fact that it's 10x that is pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. Mush? 100% the brain. 100% the brain. Francis? Yeah, brain. Brain? Clemmer? Brain. Brain. Nick? Yeah, I'm going brain here. Mm -hmm. Go brain. You guys both go brain. Clean sweep for the 15th seed. Uh, okay, before we get into our, we run through our playoffs, let's hear from our very last sponsor of the day, Omaha Steaks. We love Omaha Steaks here. Ooh. Fall is in the air, and that means that we're looking forward to crisp mornings, falling leaves, and sweater weather. More importantly, it's the perfect time for grilling, tailgating, and cozy comfort food. Omaha Steaks is the world's best beef, naturally aged for the ultimate in tenderness, juiciness, and flavor. Omaha Steaks has all of your favorite cravings covered with 50% off site-wide during their semi-annual sale. That's 50% off your favorite tender, juicy, extra-aged steaks like their butcher's cut filet mignons. Go to omahasteaks.com today and use code LIGHTS at checkout to get an extra $30 off your order. With Omaha Steaks, the possibilities are endless, endless flavor, and endless value on incredible entrees, scrumptious sides, decadent desserts, and more. I'll repeat it. I love alliteration. I know I said it in the last episode. For those of you that were here, I'm just a big fan of alliteration. Uh, during their semi-annual sale, and everybody's backed by their 100% unconditional guarantee, every steak and every entree is flash frozen, vacuum sealed, and ready to go uh, right onto your grill. I think all of us at least tried Omaha Steaks at least once here. Omaha Steaks is awesome. They're they're oh, my God. Tremendous. In, at least one. At least 100 times. Yeah. Pitch, they should show it. I ate 100% of my Omaha Steaks. Yes. Right the tank. Use 100% of your energy. And it was <laughs> unbelievable. Yes. And you used Omaha Steaks before they were even, like, way before oh, the yeah. concert, right? Yeah. Like, Especially during COVID. I haven't sent to my house. I, 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 I want to go order some right now. The hot dogs are awesome. Yes, too. What's that? Good gift. It's a great gift. It goes right that. to the house. And who doesn't yeah. like getting great steaks and great hot dogs and great chicken? and Something you're actually going to use. Yeah. Yes. Taste delicious. It's super convenient. It's and it's awesome. unique, too. You don't like, yeah. that's not a thing you get as a gift often, steaks. No. No. I gave it as a gift for my, uh, well, future now father-in-law, like, for Christmas. And he was like, he loved it. Because what gift that, you give That's an amazing gift. A guy, for like Father's Day, it's, old, it's a great gift. Exactly. I got my stepfather for Father's Day a number of years yeah. in a row. And they love it. Yes. Always so happy. Go to omahasteaks.com and shop all of your delicious favorites for half the price. Don't forget to enter promo code LIGHTS at checkout for an extra $30 off. Hurry. This sale is only for a limited time. Minimum purchase may apply. Uh, so so before we do, I'm mad. I'm a little mad. My suggestion did not get taken. One of the mine. The cursive, cursive. Adults using cursive. I always was told cursive was gonna be this important thing we had. To, we had to know how to do, and ends up I never use it. So I, I know the guy that I'm. Uh, that's a little different app. from like what what the theme of the show is. So the theme is did it? change. The theme theme did change a little bit okay. from when we started to when we got to the final thing. But yeah, you're right. Like that is something people they tried to make us prepared for, and it was not a big deal. I was told like, I like writing in cursive. Oh, I oh, I can't do it anymore. I'm not fun. good. At yeah, I love it. I, I still do it when I write a check. Well, I, yeah, I can. I hurt my, my grades in elementary school. It's more like myths. Myths. Yeah. I don't think the, there was a myth around cursive. They didn't say cursive will. Uh, when you write in cursive, you know, you have a better chance of getting presents from Santa Claus or something. No, you get a better chance of like, doing better professionally. They, yeah. they, they, they laid this on you. They were actually telling you that? Yeah. I feel like I was told similar things, yeah. We, we spent like years doing it. I think it's a stretch. I think you've come up with a stretch here. <laughs> All right. So, <laughs> stretch Armstrong over Our here. playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> Bats not being blind versus mm. milk not helping your bones. Oh, good. Let's start with you, KB. The milk one. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, second what he says there. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Get those boys some milk. Two for milk. Mil Glimmer. The milk campaign had so much money yeah. on advertising. Yeah, they really they'd did. have celebrities. They have the Got Milk thing. It was Bunch everywhere. Of communists. <laughs> were they just like uh, constantly overstocked with milk? Is that just like the issue that they were running into? I don't know. I think they knew. Yeah, that's mind blowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, milk milk goes bad so quickly, mm. and uh, once people started bringing in oat milk and soy milk and almond milk, it definitely hurt. Yeah, and that is shelf life too. Like yeah. you can store that out in your cabinet or whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Clemmer? Milk. Milk. 
three to nothing. Francis? Milk. Milk's going to win, but Milk. Mush. Milk easy. Harvey Milk. <laughs> Harvey Milk. Uh, yeah. On the, on the other side, um, hibernation not being what we thought it would be versus the food pyramid not being correct at all. It's a good one. That's a good matchup. Yeah. It's a really good matchup. I agree. The food pyramid one has more of an effect on the human everyday life, but I, I feel like that's the biggest lie ever told. It yeah. might be. It truly might be. But I right. personally <laughs> probably thought about hibernation more than I thought about the food pyramid over my 25 years live. I'm going to go hibernation. I think I was more blown away to find that out. One for hibernation. Mush. I want hibernation too for that reason as well. I haven't thought about the pyramid since you guys just brought it up. You tell me the food pyramid was like a scam to sell bread. I'm like, oh, I could see that. You tell yeah. me hibernation's a myth. I'm like, what the fuck? hundred percent. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's not necessarily hibernation. Hibernation is real. Yeah, it's but the way it's not that what we, we thought. It hibernation right. doesn't mean sleeping for yeah. three months. And still real, yeah. Francis. So I have to do hibernation simply because I didn't know that was not real until today. Mm. Uh, and I did know that the food pyramid was not a good indicator of what we should eat prior to today. So I think I'm going to go with the hibernation. Three for hibernation. Clemmer? Yeah, hibernation. That was, when I found that, I, I was shocked, even though I shouldn't have been. It makes sense. The real, the, the real <laughs> answer why, makes sense, but it's crazy it. that... It's, why am I mad at who am I mad at? No, I'm saying you're almost mad at yourself for like... Yes, I am. For not thinking about it. A little, little critical thinking <laughs> yeah. would have gone a long way You just there. believed when you heard it once. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like, oh, they sleep for three yeah, months straight. Yogi, Yogi Bear. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Hibernation's going to win, but Nick... Big Nick. What? That's my Yogi Bear impression. <laughs> oh, I <thought> you <laughs> <laughs> Since when? Saying um, pick a Nick. Pick I'm, a going, Nick. I'm going food pyramid. I'm sticking to my guns. Uh, the most important food for a person to eat was bread. <laughs> Yeah, the food, maybe it's not like a factual thing because it's just like a suggestion, but th that probably contributed to so much disease, obesity. Mm -hmm. I think anyone really so followed long. it, though. Anyone really oh, care? I, I bet. Dude, we, we were told to follow it. We were actively trying to become healthier and eating fuck tons of bread. Yeah, you'd have <laughs> croissants and shit. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, sorry, I can't eat this this yeah. apple today. I overdid my, I there, I need to get a croissant. But like, every uh, time I go to France, they have so much God damn bread. They do love it. It's such a staple, and they're not as fat as we are. Cigarettes. Yeah, well, the cigs do do a big controls. difference. Mm. Yeah, maybe. I, and they I walk everywhere. London, they literally, like, we ordered, like, an appetizer. Like, are you sure? Like, <laughs> there's a meal coming. It's like, oh, okay. And yeah. They get mad at you almost. So is, I saw no Isn't, like, the in London. European, like, them being skinny completely due to their activity level? I can has see to that be. Too. They do Probably. water a lot more. Yeah. The Mediterranean diet is like the best diet you can have, right? That is pretty bready too. Yeah. But if you is order it? a if you I order a so. soda like and oil, if you order a soda in London, it's it come it's just big. It does, yeah. it, oh, and you know what else? It's, it's flat too. In London, if you order a lemonade, they bring out a fucking sprite. Yeah. What? That's How true. weird is that? Just a straight sprite. Straight sprite. <laughs> if you say, "Can I get a lemonade?" A lemonade. They say, sure, and they bring yeah. out. A sprite. I guess it is lemonade. It's crazy. Yeah, lemon lime. Uh, okay, so hibernation versus uh, milk not being good for your bones. So let's start with KB. This is to get into the finals. The milk one, I, I, I'm still appalled. <laughs> the milk one, Nick? Yeah, like celebrities with the milk mustaches and like that's what made them fucking sex. Britney Spears, and that's what made her sexy was the milk. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Cal Ripken. Cold, Cal Ripken. All, yeah, they're all built by milk. Yeah. Yeah. Mark McGuire, like we all thought he was just hitting home runs <laughs> with the milk. Because the milk, yeah, yeah, we figured, yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, that, that has to be it. <laughs> it's milk versus hibernation, right? Um, yes. I got to go with hibernation here. I'm still kind of, it, it shouldn't break my brain, but it has. The hibernation, yeah. yeah. Francis? <laughs> yeah, I'll go with hibernation as well, for the same reasons that Clemmer said. Tied up. I'm going hibernation. I wow. Hibernation. Was milk, milk. I but hibernation nice. should have broken your brain when you were taught that bears slept three months uninterrupted. <laughs> it should have. It's it really should have. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, that sounds That's hard to insane. Believe. Maybe it did, KB, but I grew to accept it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was told by the people <laughs> I trusted Damn. the most. I made my peace with it, and then I thought about it when I needed to sleep. And if you said otherwise, you sounded like the idiot. You know what I mean? Like the yeah. te a teacher. Yeah. Someone pay teachers teach were you, would tell that, you yeah. you are wrong if you said otherwise, which is crazy. All right, it's three to two in favor of hibernation. Bob Fox going hibernation. Go it's on another hibernation. one where it just it, it breaks my brain. I don't understand it, but it breaks my brain still. So hibernation is going into the finals. Uh, on the other side, we have 
um, what did we switch this to? The face change. The smacking your back and it changing your face versus uh, swallowing gum and it not staying in your system for seven days. Bob Fox. Easy one for the gum, I think. The face change was a good swap in, but it's not yeah. going to make it any further. Gum. The other side of the bracket was brutal yeah. compared to this one. <laughs> At uh, least his first matchup, yeah. Uh, gum. Gum on it. Another for gum, Francis. Gum. Gum. Do you Remember? have any more gum, more gum, more gum? Did everyone have like a signature gum growing up? I was like a trident. trident. I was a fruit stripes when boy. When I was a little kid, I had like bubble yum. Bubble, 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 bubble when you're little. Juicy fruit I, I had bubble unlimited was. Wrigley. I thought the, uh, what was the gum that you would, it was, it came in that circle thing. And you, hubba bubba? Hubba bubba. Hubba the tape? Bubba. Yeah, bubble yeah, bubble, tape, bubble tape. I thought the tape was great. Yeah. Oh, um, bubble tape. Bubble, bubble tape, yeah. Bubble yeah, I'll tape. go with gum. I, I never really believed that my face would stick there, but I did believe I wouldn't be able to, I you know the gum would be in my system for a long time. I, I would legit like have a panic attack if I swallowed. I, like, a I, mini I think it was yeah. a lie told by parents so we wouldn't choke. Yeah. That makes sense. I thought it was so we wouldn't like, oh. swallow our gum and be gross. When you yeah. swallow gum, it's not easy to swallow. No, it no. ain't. It kind of gets And like fucked, Nick so said, it goes down and you do feel it. Like you yeah. feel it in your yeah. stomach when you yeah. swallow yeah. it somehow. Yeah. Then you're like, it's oh my god, it's stuck to my chest. It's yeah. probably a good lie there, to tell kids. There is your still wits. the human body cannot digest the gum, but that just means you that shit it out mean. as gum. Yeah, you just shit it I out. Guess, okay. Like, yeah. Quickly. Like have it's not. Have you like ever seen the gum when you shit? I have. It Nick's seen it out of a dog's <laughs> asshole. Yeah, you saw it blow a bubble out of you a dog's ass. I've seen. I've seen All you can eat this week is gum. No, it's not me. It's not me. No, someone else. You say you have. Was it just once? Fuck. Oh, there's gum. You do the experience. <laughs> <laughs> ah, See, what do you know? Clever's asshole is definitely so tight that it would blow a bubble. No, I yeah. have no doubt in my mind. Do you like drop loads? Oh, I take some gross shit. Uh, it depends how I'm feeling. This everybody else. Sometimes it's mud shit. Sometimes it's like a good shit. <laughs> mud. You I, I've been. I've been with mud. I'll say this. I've been, Times been good. I've been shitting good the last week. No, mud's bad. If I see mud, it's like oh. No. I know. Right? Yeah, we know. <laughs> no one wants mud shits, but I've been having some good poops the last week, week and a half. I've been feeling really good. I'm happy. Solid. For you. Thank you. I always think the skinny shits means you are you have gluten. I think it's probably some sort of allergy going on. Like I've had stomach issues. Like Nick and I have talked about. It. Like I just have had major stomach problems. Why and stuff. did you have to tell us that you and Nick yeah. talked about? You did it. talk. Uh, about I have it. stomach issues because Nick has yeah, stomach issues. I got them too. What does it matter? The three of us. Because we because it's been like such a crucial part of our life. We've all like, yeah, it, it comes it's up all the time. It's talk, it talks. That's yeah. why Drake has has to take a break from rapping. His tummy hurts. Oh, yeah, my uh, tummy diarrhea. Hurts. Yeah, Every t everything I eat, my stomach hurts. I just oh uh, dude you you should go to the doctor I yeah, was like that for good, four man. years I just you also eat I'll like hook shit. you up with a doctor you eat like dog yeah shit. you eat bad Marty I'm good you, you, you do you yeah. eat brown and beige foods yeah yeah a hundred percent I've gained <laughs> nine pounds in eight years though yeah, huh? fucking fear infuriating uh so Nick were you gonna pick swallow gum I assume yeah and you too KB yeah same. but but I understand why it existed yes. Uh, so now we have the using 10% of your brain versus cracking your knuckles not causing arthritis. KB. So the myth is 10%. The reality is 100%? Yes. That. Because, yeah, we were told that a lot. Yeah. Nick? I'm going cracking knuckles. Um, I was legit. When I was doing it, I was like, oh, fuck. I was afraid. Um, knuckles. Knuckles. Clemmer? I'm a little upset the 10% thing isn't real because I was hoping the other 90% was like time travel or making yourself invisible or cool powers that we just haven't. We've talked about how that just would not be good for society, man. Mm -hmm. You're probably right. Yeah. yeah. We're so lucky. Yeah, we're, we're lucky. <laughs> but that, that part still makes me a little upset because I, I, I... You're we right. Every, just... Everyone can't be time travel. I understand, but I just... Be cool. be nice if he could. Yeah. yeah. But, that, but you're right, though. You can't have that. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go with the 10% yeah. of the brain. Yeah. Francis? I'll go with knuckles. Knuckles. Yep. So we're tied up two to two. I can't believe you guys at all didn't believe that you could take a pill and charge your phone. Yeah, oh, I want that <laughs> so bad. Still, dude, I really wanted that. <laughs> oh, that's from when you guys did a couple yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. Um, knuckles. I still, I still literally get yelled at for, from my mom when mm -hmm. I do it around her. So. I'm also going knuckles. Knuckles. Okay, Knuckles going to move on. And to go into the finals, Knuckles versus Swallowing Gum. Mm. Ooh. That's a really good matchup. These this is a good one. This is a good one. Classic, classic childhood myths. I think I'm going to go Swallowing Gum. Mm -hmm. I think that's more of a popular childhood myth than the Cracking Knuckles one. So I'm going to go Swallowing Gum. One for Swallowing Gum. 
I'm going knuckles because I'd go to sleep think if my mom would be like you show me someone with arthritis be like that's gonna be your knuckles and then I'd be thinking about it, like I want to crack my knuckles but I do not want that old I feel so much better after I crack them hundred yeah. percent always that's why I was always so nervous about arthritis so I, I'm going knuckles knuckles Francis I'll go with gum another for gum two to one yeah gum two to three to one right now Nick knuckles knuckles Three to two, KB versus gum. It's pretty even, but I, I'm since I was more afraid to swallow gum, I'll go with that. Swallowing gum in the finals against hibernation this is an interesting one. <laughs> Very interesting <laughs> final, the one yeah. you expected. Uh, so KB, you're up first. Yeah, it's got to be hibernation. Hibernation, not yeah. what we thought it would or was. Nick. Yeah, when I was walking around the woods, I was like, in the winter, like, I was not afraid of bears. I thought, like, maybe I could stumble upon a cave and they'd all be sleeping. <laughs> um, that's that's how I thought that until today. Uh, going that. Two for hibernation. Clemmer. Hibernation. Three for hibernation. Francis? It's hibernation for sure. Hibernation for sure it's going to win, but Mush? Hibernation. It's a clean hibernation. sweep. Wow. It's a clean sweep. And I will tell you, so since I just got these without your guys' submissions, what mm -hmm. I did was I raffled all of the options off using the the wheel that you guys use for the yak. To Come see, on. And I gave everybody an equal amount of opportunities to get Wait each one. Wait a second. Don't tell me Yo, Tommy you, won. You kept I your one. I told you hibernation. <laughs> you kept hibernation. Oh, so I won. So you, since you were the only one who submitted one, the singular one you that was submitted was yours, and it's hibernation. Wow. And it, what? Wow. And it beat the beat out swallowing gum, which was submitted wow. to Francis. So Francis. Damn. Ah, oh, close, but no cigar. But, but no cigar and a clean sweep I for hibernation. Won one. The winner of episode 97 uh, lies, we were told, is children. This was super educational. It was. It was. It was. I, it was. I, feel, I feel way better. I can't wait to tell some people these facts now. I know. Yeah. I cannot tell you how much I've learned just looking some of these things. Dude, some, one of these is going to be wrong, and you're going to get bummed. <laughs> you're going to get <laughs> yeah. pelted with comments. Yeah, so if you have any issues with any of the facts, just uh, at Francis Ellis. Uh, <laughs> yes. If any and all complaints, uh, he created the list. Uh, but we'll be back next week with a new bracket, and Mush will be back as the winner of this week. Uh, but we will see you guys then. Thank you.